In years past, the Detroit Auto Show was all about being the biggest, but this year there's an emphasis on being small. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan is at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Lee. Well, Susan, being small in the fact that there are less uh, auto companies here, we no, no longer have uh, Hummer, Saturn, uh, also Pontiac are no longer here. Uh, uh, Nissan has one car. They're not making much of a presence. But we're also seeing smaller companies come in vogue. They have an air area here called Electric Avenue that's sponsored by Dow Chemicals that's allowing a lot of the smaller companies that make electric cars com come together in one large area. It's called Electric Avenue. Um, also, just Motors in uh, Ford are going smaller, bringing some of their European cars o over to this side of the pond. Uh, the, the Chevy Cruze, the Chevy Spark, and a new uh, redesigned Aveo is coming out, much smaller, trying to go for that young uh, market that's really in touch with those smaller cars. And uh, also, uh, we're seeing for the, the third year in a row a Chinese company called BYD. Now, you probably remember BYD for making lithium-ion batteries. Uh, they probably made the battery that we're using in this laptop computer right here. But now they're going to start making uh, automobiles. We had a chance to sit down with the general manager of BYD, and he told us he's very excited to get into the American market. The size of U.S. market and maturity of the market, that is very, very important for any automotive automobile brands. So we think that is a very good market especially for electric cars or fuel efficient cars. So we think that this, this is the right product for this market. Yeah, we, we'll talk to each other. Well, Susan, I'm standing here with uh, Britta Gross. Uh, she's one of the people behind the Chevy Volt, which is uh, stand sitting right here behind us. Uh, she's in charge of the global energy systems for General Motors. Is that correct, Britta? That's right. Also, infrastructure commercialization, so what it takes to charge this uh, baby in. Now, uh, Britta, this has to be one of the most hyped cars I've seen. I've been coming to these auto shows since 1973, and since I was six years old. And this car has to be one of the most hyped, the, the, the Chevy Volt. This is the year that we're finally going to see it in showrooms, correct? Uh, you're right about that. And I hope you're not saying hyped in a negative way. I hope highly education, awareness. It's a new technology, so it's grabbing a lot of headlines. Uh, and rightfully so. It's a very, very smart technology. But you're right, it's in the showrooms uh, later on this year. Now, we're hearing a lot of people refer to the Chevy Volt as a hybrid. And it's not not a hybrid, it's a pure electric. Do you want to, to the millions of viewers at, here on Clean Skies News, want to set the record straight that this is an electric car? Yeah, let, let me tell you exactly what it is. It is not a hybrid. We don't blend gasoline functionality with electric uh, functionality of the battery. It all, always drives off of electricity. It's an electric vehicle that has an extended range capability. Uh, it's a gas engine generator that'll produce more electricity to drive that battery once and only once the battery is completely depleted. So like an onboard power plant for it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Hearing words, um, rumors about the Volt, uh, they had the Tesla was uh, doing their testing. But since then, we've had uh, Fisker Automotive. We have the Nissan Leaf coming out. We have a whole section here right behind this wall called Electric Avenue dedicated to the electric car. Will 2010 be? The, the year that we'll look on and say that's the year the electric uh, car made a big impact. I think that uh, certainly um, we are introducing vehicles later this year. I think that I, I think if you really want to look for impact and what it means, um, I think you're going to look for 2011 and 2012 just because it's going to be. You, you have to notice these vehicles means they're going to have to be out there in the market in very very large volume to to have those kinds of numbers. We've got to ramp up production. We've got to have suppliers ramping up production. Some of the smaller makers. They're only going to have fewer, you know, going to have fewer vehicles. So I think that really this is the year that kicks it all off. But very, very excited to watch 2011 and 2012. All right, Britta Gross, thank you very much from General Motors. And Susan, uh, the, the smalling down of the auto show is also with journalists. We have fewer journalists here. A lot of newspapers and tele television stations went out of business during the recession. So there's even small, a smaller amount of journalists. But it is still the world's largest, most important auto show. Reporting live from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, I'm Lee Patrick Sullivan. Susan? All right, Lee Patrick Sullivan, thank you.